Dread Fighters are a class that make their debut in Fire Emblem Echo Shadows of Valentia. These skilled blade masters are known to be able to tank hits from magic users with relative ease, making them very powerful frontline allies. This, combined with the fact that the Myrmidon class just seems to have some of the most likable characters, made Dread Fighters a favorite amongst Fire Emblem fans. But behind their overpowered abilities lies a little secret that the developers would never tell you about the Dread Fighters' religious backstory. Dread Fighters have close ties to both Buddhist and Hindu myth and religious ideologies. Nintendo is no stranger to having their games be tied to religious ideas and symbols, but what makes Dread Fighters unique is the fact that the symbols that they throw at us aren't in your face. The symbolism is hidden in the design, inspired by classic Japanese ninjas. But unlike classic Japanese ninjas, there's a red circular ornament that's held behind the Dread Fighter's back. It's perhaps the first thing that we notice when it comes to Dread Fighters. The red ring is from Hindu mythos and is a direct reference to the Ring of Fire that surrounds the Hindu god Shiva when he dances. Shiva is one of the Hindu Trimuvate, the gods that are responsible for the creation, upkeep, and destruction of the world. Shiva, while known as a passionate god, is often depicted in media with a ring of fire behind him as the end of the cycle, death. Therefore, the ring of fire represents the cycle of life that one goes through from birth to death. The ring of fire could also add to the fact that they're, in a way, becoming reborn, a Buddhist belief. Buddhists believe that after death they are reborn, and depending on how good they were in this current lifetime, they'll be reborn into better circumstances. This of course ties back to what the Ring of Fire stands for, birth and death, a constant loop. Intelligent Systems game developers have also come out and outright stated that these characters can loop back to becoming villagers since they're ninja inspired. These ninjas must stay concealed amongst the commoners, masking their presence, thus they go back to becoming villagers. From Hindu mythos to Buddhist beliefs and Japanese culture, this is a class that continues to cycle in more ways than just mechanical. Another reference that these dread fighters have are when they perform a critical hit. Critical hits have to be one of the most visually appealing things in a Fire Emblem game, and what better way to show off yet another reference than in one of these showcases. In a circular motion, they create after images of multiple arms, a callback to how deities like Shiva would be portrayed with multiple arms when they go into battle with demons. The multiple arms would oftentimes be a symbol for their godlike powers and abilities to multitask. While the Echo's Dread Fighters can't conjure multiple hands, specifically, the after images that they create in a circular motion are close enough to cement this as a reference. The hand symbol that they do before even going to attack is the Abaya Mudra, a gesture of reassurance, blessing, and protection. A do not fear hand gesture before they even strike the enemy in front of them. Their names when directly translated from Japanese to English is what some would consider a reference to religion. Dread Fighters in a literal sense are called Demon Fighters, a fitting name as in Shadows of Valentia you're fighting hordes of monsters conjured up by the Cantors. This is also reference to the Yasha Yaksha mythology, a demon race that makes an appearance in both Hindu and Buddhist beliefs. Yasha is also the overclass name for the Dread Fighters. The Yasha class is named after a type of demon gods, worshipped as benevolent gods and feared as wrathful demons. They are known as fearsome warriors that protect Earth's greatest treasures, and perhaps that's why the armors that the Yasha overclass would wear is demon-like, with skulls, bone-like features, and bat-wing-like features that also extends when the users move their arm. Certain Yasha demons in mythologies would have their armor decorated with scowling faces, something that's also present in the Yasha overclass armor around the thighs of these warriors. The dark design of the Yasha overclass is perhaps a reference to what they originally were before they became warriors of light. Prior to becoming warriors that waged war for the goodness of humanity, the Indian myth would put the Yasha in the same subclass as devils slash demons. It wasn't until the Japanese adopted the Yasha mythos that they became warriors that fight for good. 
which is fitting as their edgy and dark design could be a reference to what they looked like previously, but still fight for your army in Fire Emblem Echoes. All in all, Dreadfighters are, from a design perspective, one of the most well thought out designs. At first glance, these deadly swordmasters are just classic ninja inspired, but the way that Hidari took the designs a step further to reference Hindu and Buddhist myths and beliefs is what really pushes the design to top tier for me. But either way, I hope you learned a little bit more about the Dreadfighters. This has been JAIK, and thanks for watching.